Hello, it's Tamika, a new me, 1109. And the other day I was talking to the bestie, Grell and Be Gone, or Shea Leonard on uh, Facebook. And she asked me a couple questions, and so I thought I would share that with you. First of all, let me show you something. She got me a bracelet. A little cute little Tiffany bracelet. Wait, let me see. There we go. Ah, for me spending the week with her when she had surgery. So this was my thank you. So cute. And it's a non-scale victory in that. It's it. It's a regular, what, seven and a half inch bracelet <laughs> that last year wouldn't have fit. So that is a non-scale victory in itself. Uh, so I really like it. It's really, really cute. Um, anyway, she's coming up on her one month surgery. So she had surgery on uh, November 16th, I believe. I'm trying to be good with numbers like she is. <laughs> And um, actually, right before her birthday, so this was a couple days ago, um, right before her birthday, she asked me a question. She asked, actually asked me a couple questions. And she asked me um, whether or not I feel normal. And my response was, yes. <laughs> And then she asked, well, how long did it take after surgery for you to feel normal? And I don't know the answer to that. Because this is, um, you know, it is a process. It is a day-by-day -day learning process while you go through this journey. And I'm still learning things, you know, 13 months out from having lap band surgery. I'm still on a daily basis learning things. Like today, I just went through this whole thing. I was very upset about something and I had eaten and the first thought was I wanted like a cheese stick like I didn't want anything bad but I wanted a cheese stick now you know why I wanted that cheese stick was for the wrong reasons I was outside of my three meals and I was wanting that to feel a void of being devastated about something um, and so that's not the right thing. But, you know, the reason why I'm telling you this is the girl who goes from 288 to 156 still has issues. And I believe that I will continue to have to work through these issues on a daily basis as they come up. One thing that I say a lot in um, my coaching is, you know, it is day by day, decision by decision, bite by bite. That's how you win this race. It is not you lay down on the table, you have um, surgery, lap band, ruin, why gastric bypass, sleeve, whatever. Um, and then, woohoo, it's over. No, it's every day needing to figure out how to make right decisions in your life um, to get you where you want to be and to keep you there. You know, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm, I'm wanting to stay here. <laughs> um, you know, so back to the conversation with Grell and Be Gone, the bestie. She, you know, I sort of was trying to answer that question. And then she said, well, do you feel the same? So, meaning the same as I did before surgery. And no, absolutely not. Because the person on the other side of surgery is the person who needs to plan who needs to be concerned about how many calories is in this meal, how many proteins, you know, am I drinking, am I not drinking while I'm eating, you know, all of those types of things. That was not the person that I was before surgery. Um, and so I will never be the person who just sort of like aimlessly went through life eating whatever I wanted to eat, where I wanted to eat it, how I wanted to eat it. I'll never be that person again. And so, you know, do we sort of change after surgery? For me, definitely I have. You know, sometimes I go out to eat and I labor over the menu. I'm like, if the nutritional facts aren't on the table, excuse me, I need the nutritional facts. And I don't care how crazy they look at me. <laughs> I remember when the frat face first came out at McDonald's, I was in the drive through and I was like, how many calories are in that thing? And the guy was sort of like, I don't know, we'll find out. You know, I just, 
Um, you know, that type of stuff. I need to know how many calories. I am just sort of obsessed with that. And, um, you know, not in a bad way. But if they tell me to eat between eight and 1,200 calories a day, and if I'm tracking my calories, I have to know that. And so is, is that a different person? Is that a different mentality, a different mindset? Yes. Um, you know, so I just sort of, I was sitting here, and I wanted to share that with you. You know, especially people out there who might be pre op and, um, you know, who might be wondering, well, what is this life like after surgery? It is different because you're needing to adhere to some rules. And if you adhere to those rules, then you'll be okay. If you don't, if you try to make them up, then, then it's not going to be okay. I had a, a call with a client the other day, and I'm trying to remember what she said. Um, but at the end of the call, so at the end of our coaching calls, I'll usually ask people for a commitment statement. We'll talk talk through some things, and I'll ask for a commitment statement for something that they want to work on for the upcoming week, and then I'll ask for a golden nugget. And so her golden nugget was any deviation from the rules will keep you further away from meeting your goal. So every cookie, every piece of cake, everything that's contrary to what the rules say we're supposed to be doing and eating, that'll just keep you further away from your goals. And she said she was like standing in a room and she was like sort of imagining, hey, my goal is over on the other side of the room. And every time I make these decisions to do something, again, that's contrary to what I'm supposed to be doing, it's just going to keep me further and further and further and further away. And I thought that was awesome <laughs> um, that she, you know, sort of had that aha click moment. And, and I just hope that everybody who is pre-op understands that. And everybody who is in the beginning of their journey understands that as well. And people who are in maintenance, you know, it's still about every decision, every day. Um, you know, if, if I eat something that's going to wake up my carb monster, he is hard to slay. If I wake up that sugar monster, he is hard to slay, but the carb monster is a little harder. <laughs> um, but I have to know that. And I have to be diligent to keeping them asleep um, or else my journey just becomes very, very difficult. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I was just sitting here thinking. I just wrapped up another video, but I did want to share that with you. I wish you all the best, always. And if I could help you in any way, please reach out to me and I will do my best. Okay, good night.